Months ago, I had seen the trailer for Triangle of Sadness and made a mental note that it looked like a very funny movie. But then time passed and I had thought about it a lot and boom, tickets for it popped up. Uh, and I was like, oh yeah, you know what? Let's go see this. And I had forgotten everything about the trailer other than the fact that it was about essentially rich people on this luxury cruise, a yacht, whatever, right? I didn't even know much about it. And that really made for the best viewing ever because it is very, very funny, goes in unexpected places. Now, for a little bit of context that's not spoiler-filled, it is a movie by Ruben Osland. I believe, I hope I'm saying his name correctly. He's done movies like The Square and Force Majeure. Uh, he, he does a lot of, like, black comedy. And black comedy is one of my favorite genres. Uh, and so, you know, uh, I, I was kind of knew that at least that's what it would be, right? And I'd heard from a couple people that, that it was just good. I, I had, didn't know any other details beyond that. And as I said, that's the best way to see this movie because right from the opening, you're kind of hooked. You think it's going sort of one way and then just continues to go in directions that you don't expect, right? And that's part of the humor in all of it. Uh, it has relatively unknown actors, at least to me. Um, you know, they are working actors and done previous work, but uh, I'm not as familiar with their work. Uh, Woody Harrelson does star in the movie, um, and he's a blast in it, as well as everybody else. And what was amazing about this movie is, really, it was a true crowd experience, right? It wasn't just the laughter, but, uh, you know, you're kind of almost on this roller coaster of a ride during the movie, there's highs, there's lows, you're laughing, you're like, ooh, blah, you know, and, and everyone's reacting in that same way, much like you would when you go in a roller coaster with its full ups and downs. And that's what made this movie so special. Um, it has a lot to say, and yet it does it in a very entertaining, non-didactic way. Uh, so for all those reasons, I really, really appreciated it. Uh, I think it truly will be one of my top movies of this year. Um, I mean, it certainly left an impression on me. I've been thinking about it ever since. And so for all those reasons, I would encourage you to check out Triangle of Sadness as unsullied as you can. And when you do, let me know what you think. But give a little spoiler warning if, if there's specific stuff that you want to talk about. So, yeah, thanks.